this video we will understand how to use index OI. So basically index OI means index open interest. So this index OI data will help you track where is the major upcoming resistance and major upcoming support zone on your index trades. Most important notification is that index OI is only available for Nifty, Bank Nifty and Fin Nifty. So now let us check how to interpret this data. So to open index OI you need to click on index OI tab which is available to you on the top panel of your trade clue ID. So here you can see the index OI feature is opened now. As we said earlier index OI data is only available for Nifty Bank Nifty and Fin Nifty. The next two radio buttons are basically depicts your expiry that is weekly expiry and the upcoming monthly expiry. So 22 Feb is the upcoming weekly expiry and 29 Feb is the upcoming monthly expiry. The next checkbox is OTM only that is it will tell me data of the OTM strikes. Mainly for intraday trades you need to check for the OTM data only. So let us understand the radio buttons down below. Here there is the first radio button that is 9.15 to 3.30. That is from 9.15 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. What is the OI telling you throughout the day? That is which was the highest support or which is the highest resistance available to you. Most important this index OI feature you need to check it during the live market hours. So for that you have 15 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes along with 120 minutes and 5 and 10 minutes radio button. That is in the last 15 minutes where is the highest resistance zone or which is the highest support zone upcoming. So here I can understand that as per looking at the last 15 minute data. So currently the time is 3.20 that is almost the market is going to close now. So now let us understand how to interpret this data. So now to keep it very simple you have red and green color bars available to you over here. Most important thing about this is I just need to understand which is the longest red bar and which is the longest green bar available to you on this particular panel. Now you can see over here 22,200 has the longest red bar. Same way 21,900 strike has a good long green bar as compared to other green bars. So this way you can understand that 22,200 is a good resistance zone for Nifty during the live market hours. Same way 21,900 is a good support zone. Now let us come back to the chart. We observed that 22,200 is a good resistance zone as per the index OI. And same way as you can see whenever the price reached 22,200 zone which was a good index OI resistance through which you can see that almost a good downfall has come from that zone. So this is how it will tell you that where is the highest resistance and where is the highest support point. Mainly you have to check this during the live market hours so that you can plan your trades accordingly. Now let us come back to the index OI panel. Now you have some positive numbers and some negative numbers. So whenever the numbers are negative, so for example here you can see at 22,050 same way as at 22,000, the green bars are going negative side. That is the support is decreasing at this particular point and this you need to check it on last 15 mid time frame data. That is you can see the red bars are going on the negative side. That is the resistance is now going on the downside and support is starting to increase. So here you can understand that whether the support is increasing or the resistance is increasing and through this you can plan your trades now. And as per that you can see a good bounce back had happened from this particular zone. Now very important thing you need to note down is that just using index OI you don't have to trade your index trades. Mainly index OI data is just for interpretation of support and resistance which will make you aware where is the upcoming resistance and support zone. But for execution purpose you need to rely upon red green box as well as OI levels that is max call OI, max put OI level along with the red green dots formation. So earlier in the execution videos of index we have already explained red green dots format how to trade them and how to interpret these dots. Most importantly for your execution purpose reuse red green dots as well as red green box but to gain more confirmation on your trades you can check the index OI and check where is the resistance and support zone. So this is how you need to plan your index trades. Along with index OI data you try to club your red green box red green dots logic. So as you can see today if I apply technical levels so here there was daily resistance weekly resistance along with red dots. So daily weekly resistance you get before the market start green boxes max call OI max put OI level you get before the market start. You just need to wait for your price action to happen in that particular zone. So same way during the live market as you get a good thorough range breakout format over here red dots and most importantly as per the index OI if I check from 9.15 to 3.30 the data since morning it was telling me that 22,200, 22,250 has good amount of resistance building in. That is during the live market as there was heavy call writing being done over in these strikes. And same way whenever the price reached in this resistance zone there was a good selling pressure and you can see a follow through downfall had come from that particular region. So this is how you need to plan your index trades using index OI. Till then stay connected on this video series and make sure you like and share this video with your fellow index traders 
and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such educational content. Thank you.